Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm going to be going over all of the future rides that I can see coming to Alton Tower Resort uh, within the next couple of years. Now if you do go on to enjoy the video make sure to like, subscribe, anything that makes me know you guys like my content uh, and definitely as well as that leave any video suggestions uh, or just comments down in the comments below and I'll try to reply to as many of you guys as I can. Uh, and definitely as well as that uh, I'm setting a little goal uh, for the next couple of weeks. If we could get 600 uh, subscribers by the end of next week so next Friday that would mean the absolute world to me I know the sub count has been absolutely amazing recently uh, we're already on 580 subs uh, so yeah if you can get me to 600 by the end of next week that would literally mean my year uh, so yeah with all that said let's get right into the video Okay, so the first possible attraction I'm going to be talking about is a potential replacement to the Blade. Now, obviously, uh, at the end of last season, the Blade was actually removed from Alton Tower Resort. Uh, obviously, the parts for it are actually still in the car park, I do believe. Uh, however, the future of the actual attraction uh, is very, very shaky. I did actually touch upon it uh, in my coming to Alton Towers in 2020 video a couple of weeks ago. Um, however, if this ride was not to return, uh, potentially we could be seeing a flat ride coming within its place. And I think that... Alton Towers and Flat Rides kind of need to be in more cooperation. Obviously, over the years, uh, they've removed some of their flat rides, uh, and obviously, it's kind of left them at a disadvantage. Obviously, so that's something that Fort Park does have over Alton Towers, in my opinion. Uh, they have a lot more flat rides uh, to offer. Yeah, they may not all be brilliant, uh, but there are some there that really, really do pack a punch. Uh, however, the one ride I actually would want at Alton Towers and um, would actually fit within the, obviously, Forbidden Valley theme would actually be a giant swing. Now, obviously, we do see these attractions uh, quite a lot around the UK. Also, there is one over at Thorpe Park Resort, which, funny enough, is my favourite flat ride. Uh, so, yeah, that would have factored into this decision a little bit. Um, however, obviously, something like this would be very, very cool. Uh, obviously, Rush over at Thorpe Park is a big success for them. Uh, so, I feel like if Thorpe Park, uh, you know, it went down good for them, potentially also Towers could see that and go, look, yeah, we'll have a similar attraction here, and it may do it well. Obviously, another one uh, that I could potentially see going in there is a Ramsey Revenge style of ride. I uh, completely forgot what type rod that is actually called uh, but obviously uh, they did actually used to have ripsaw there so potentially bringing something like that back uh, would be quite cool however i do think a lot of them rides are going out of um commission now i don't think they're making them as often so i don't really think that would be a brilliant candidate but obviously these rides don't necessarily have to go where Blade is. Potentially, we could see uh, that giant swing going where Ripsaw was. Obviously, that's pretty much just being used as like a show stage. Uh, they've had different kind of like games that are held on that like arena bit. Uh, so potentially having something like that there would be a brilliant spot for it. Uh, obviously, there are many, many other flat rides. Comment down below what flat ride you would actually like in this spot uh, because there are many, many, many that you can choose from. But me personally, I would love a giant swing much like Rush over at Thought Park. Okay, so the next possible ride that I'm going to be talking about is actually the possible return of Nemesis Subterra. Now, for those of you that don't know what Nemesis Subterra is, pretty much it opened in the early 2010s and it was kind of a continuation of the Nemesis storyline. Uh, you were pretty much invited by Phalanx to go out and check this Nemesis egg and it all went wrong. There was a drop tower element to it. Uh, they also kind of added their scare maze uh, at the end of it a couple of years on into its lifetime. Um, however, obviously, when the 2015 Smiler accident happened, uh, a lot of attractions closed all around the UK, uh, this being one of them, and it kind of stayed SBNO for a few years, uh, obviously until Scarefest 2018 rolled around and obviously the building was then used for Project 42. However, obviously I can't necessarily see uh, Alton Towers using this for a scare maze uh, every single year. Obviously this is quite a huge space here uh, and it could be utilised very, very well. Now obviously uh, there were many, many reasons why it obviously closed. Uh, like I said, one was the reason because of the Smiler crash and the other was it wasn't exactly well received as an attraction. Obviously it did get better over the years that it did actually operate at the park. Obviously like I said, they did upgrade it, they did put a scare maze in uh, sort of at the end of the attraction. Uh, so potentially could so potentially could Alton Towers actually bring this back in a completely different form? Now I actually did discuss this in a little bit of a different way uh, for my SW9 video. Uh, obviously I talked about it maybe even being a roller coaster. Uh, they could bring it in maybe a compact kind of um, Mac multi-launch or something like that. Um, however, as I was thinking uh, over the last couple of days, I actually did touch on this a little bit in my Thought Park video. 
could they turn it into a shooter ride? Now, obviously, we do have Jewel uh, at this park, uh, so I feel like if they had these two attractions, it wouldn't necessarily really take away from anything. And I'll explain why in just a second. But obviously, in my Thought Park video, I did discuss that a potential Swarm sequel, and it was actually in the works back when they were actually making it in uh, 2011. Uh, possibly, you know, a Swarm sequel could involve like a shooter ride, uh, being a lot more kind of modern, uh, militarised, kind of uh, teen uh, focused ride, which I think would be very, very cool at Thought Park. However, I started getting a little bit more thinking, potentially this could fit more over at Alton Towers for the Nemesis storyline. Now, obviously, not necessarily calling it ne Nemesis Subterra again, uh, but kind of having this modern shooter ride, uh, potentially having it as kind of these, like, guns, like, proper, like, mounted machine gun type things uh, that you use as you go around. Maybe the kind of ride vehicles could be, like, Humvees or something like that. I feel like a ride like that could be pretty cool as you're going through these different scenes and the eggs were hatching, you had to shoot little different uh, kind of Nemesis aliens come out, because that was quite a big part uh, of of the attraction, obviously when it back, opened back way back when. Uh, obviously, you know, this is a bit of a stretch, but I feel like this could be an attraction that um, all the towers could kind of dip their toes in with a little bit, because I feel like leaving that building, there's so much potential in there. Honestly, if they just use it for scare mazes, I guess that would be fine. Uh, they'd be able to use it for various different scare mazes uh, over Scarefest's lifetime. Uh, but I do think it is a big enough space to actually do something with it, uh, and I'd be very, very disappointed if they didn't actually kind of take that forward a little bit uh, and kind of expand on the Nemesis story in a way that people would actually appreciate. Okay, so carrying on with the theme of flat rides I initiated at the beginning of the video, uh, another flat ride that I could potentially see becoming to the resort is actually a drop tower. Now, obviously, we're starting to see these rides up a little bit. Obviously, Chessington are making their very own drop tower uh, that's going to be going around to Revenge's place. Uh, so I do feel like Alton Towers could maybe jump on the bandwagon here. Obviously, Thorpe Park already do have one. Obviously, they have Detonator. Um, however, obviously, the place I actually think this could fit quite well is actually x -Sector. Now, obviously... Um, Exit did actually used to have a flat ride or another flat ride other than Enterprise. I'm pretty sure it was called Submission. Definitely correct me uh, if I am wrong down in the comments, but I'm pretty sure it was called Submission. Uh, so potentially this drop tower could go in that place. I'm pretty sure that was in between where Enterprise and Oblivion is. Uh, and I'm pretty sure there's still a patch of grass there uh, at the moment. But yeah, potential attraction like this could go down very, very well for X Sector. Uh, I think it would have that sort of theme around it that would kind of work. Uh, maybe giving it some Oblivion theming, you know, with like the chain link fences, with like little alarm lights on it uh, going around the edge of it. So yeah, I think that could be very, very cool uh, if Alton Towers did want to invest in some new ride hardware. Uh, obviously, whether or not that's going to be in their future plans, I don't know, because it does seem like they're really on the ball at the moment with bringing these kind of big uh, investment so potentially maybe uh, we could see this at some point but maybe this won't be as soon as we think uh, but yeah definitely I think a flat ride is on the table for Alton Towers very very soon like I said because they are lacking a little bit Okay then, so lastly, obviously I cannot forget a secret weapon in this list. Now obviously I did make a video uh, solely to do with secret weapons a couple of weeks ago, so definitely go check that out uh, if that does interest you. However, the one thing that I actually did mention that I think quite a lot of people are actually kind of taking on, on board, not just because of my video, but because of loads of other videos, and that is actually a multi-launch coaster. Now, obviously... At Alton Towers, we do have a multi-launch coaster. Well, not really a multi-launch coaster, just a normal launch coaster. And obviously, that is Rita. Now, obviously... Re2 is a little bit of an anomaly for Alton Towers because it wasn't actually classed as a secret weapon. It was kind of on its own kind of terms and it kind of felt a little bit of out place uh, on it. Obviously with the refurbishment with 13 in 2010 uh, it kind of gave it a little bit more of an atmosphere uh, to it which I obviously preferred uh, to its old uh, kind of days. Obviously, obviously we saw cuts we saw some of that kind of energy transfer over into Stealth. Obviously, Stealth has a very similar atmosphere to what Rita had uh, when that first opened. However, because this isn't necessarily a popular attraction, and it's kind of hated amongst enthusiasts, really, and I'm not really a big fan of it myself, because of its lack of launches, could we see them rip Rita right out of the equation and place in there maybe a Mac multi-launch or just a multi-launch coaster of some effect and kind of theme it to the Dark Forest? Now, obviously... When they did actually theme Rita to the Dark Forest, they didn't really have much leeway, obviously because it was obviously an existing attraction. But if they were to make a launch coaster themed to the Dark Forest 
I do generally believe this could be very, very sick. Now, obviously, they could have many other theming elements. Uh, they could add it in like a wood, much like 13 is. Uh, obviously, there is so much potential this could potentially have. Uh, even maybe keeping the speedway design of it. Uh, obviously, kind of maybe posing it as an old speedway still, uh, but just kind of, you know, giving it a bit of a newer track. Uh, obviously, creating a new coaster out of it. Uh, I do think it could be very, very cool because I feel like Rita's a little bit dated now. So, taking that out, uh, putting a brand new shiny coaster in. Uh, with a lot more theming and a lot more story to it, could really, really benefit the park, and I could and could potentially be a very, very worthy secret weapon nine. Okay, so that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if we can get to 600 uh, subscribers by the end of next week, honestly, that will mean the world to me. Obviously, like I said as well at the beginning, definitely leave any video suggestions you guys have down below as well. Uh, either that or just any of your opinions uh, for the matters I've talked about in today's video. And yeah, I'll try to reply to as many of you guys as I can. So, with all that said, I'll see you guys later.